Ever tried sending crypto and hit a brick wall? Hey crypto fam. Let's face it, the world of crypto can be exciting, a little intimidating, and sometimes downright confusing. You've done your research, you finally dipped your toes into the crypto pool, and now you're ready to share the wealth, or at least send some crypto to a friend. But hold on, there seems to be a roadblock. That pesky send limit notification pops up, leaving you wondering, what gives? Well, don't worry, that's exactly what we're here to unpack today. We'll delve into the why, the what, and the how to of send limits on Coinbase, so you can get that crypto flowing freely, well, within reason. First things first, why do these send limits even exist? Think of it like training wheels on your crypto bike. Coinbase, like most responsible platforms, wants to make sure you're comfortable navigating the crypto world before letting you loose with a Lamborghini-sized transaction. Limits help prevent impulsive decisions or, worse yet, someone else taking advantage of your account. It's all about security and building trust. Now, onto the nitty-gritty, what exactly are these send limits? Coinbase actually has a few different types of limits, depending on how you verified your account and how you plan to send your crypto. There are weekly buy limits, weekly sell limits, and, of course, the send limit we're focusing on today. The good news is, these limits start relatively low but can be increased progressively as you verify your identity and build a transaction history on Coinbase. For new, unverified accounts, the send limit might be as low as $500 a week. Yikes! But fear not, Crypto Grasshopper. By completing basic verification steps like adding your phone number and ID, you can bump that limit up to a more manageable $1,000 per week. Here's where things get interesting. Coinbase offers different payment methods for sending and receiving crypto. Using a linked bank account for sending typically has a lower limit than, say, a wire transfer. This makes sense. A wire transfer is a more secure and traceable transaction, so Coinbase feels comfortable trusting you with a bit more crypto firepower. Alright, so you've verified your account, you know the different limits for various payment methods, but how do you actually check your send limit on Coinbase? It's a breeze. Simply log into your Coinbase account, tap on that profile icon, and head over to Settings. Underneath the hood of Account Limits, you'll find a clear breakdown of your current buy, sell, and send limits. Now, the million-dollar question, how do you increase those limits? Coinbase offers a straightforward process for requesting a limit increase. Once again, it all boils down to verification. The more information you provide to confirm your identity and the more transactions you make, the more comfortable Coinbase becomes with raising your limits. Here's a quick pro tip. Be patient. The verification and limit increase process can take a few days, so don't panic if it doesn't happen overnight. Remember, crypto is a marathon, not a sprint. By taking the time to verify your account and build a solid transaction history, you'll be sending crypto like a boss in no time. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy crypto adventures.